you open IRCTC, try to book a ticket and suddenly it says waiting list 2 or REC 1. Have you ever wondered what that means or how it actually works behind the scenes? Is there a developer who wrote the logic to decide your seat status? The answer is yes. And today we will recreate a mini version of IRCTC's waiting list system using Java. This video is perfect if you want to understand how real world system works. Let's understand the core logic before jumping into the actual code. You know every train has a fixed number of confirmed seats. For example, let's say 5. Once all those 5 tickets were booked, the system does not reject the bookings. Instead, it starts assigning waiting list numbers like waiting list 1, waiting list 2, waiting list 3 like that. You know these are like a virtual queue. If someone from the confirmed list cancels, the first person in the waiting list move up and gets the ticket. Let's try to implement the same idea with a small example here. So in order to make that happen, I'm going to take a class. Okay. And now inside this class, let me try to take some two private variables. Private static final int. Let me go like max confirm seats equal to 5. I am giving 5. So, maximum confirmed seats will be only 5. Okay. And uh, I am going to take one more private variable that is for waiting list. You know, I will be trying to give maximum waiting list as 3. Let me just try to give max waiting list should be 3. So, my intention is there should be 5 confirmed seats and maximum 3 waiting list. Okay. So, in order to make that happen, I will be using array list and link list in our collection framework. Let me just try to take a array list and uh, I am using the generic as string for passing the passengers names here. Just let me go with uh, confirm list. All right. So, this array list currently will accept the confirmed list of passengers. Now, let me try to take a link list. New link list of type string. Okay. And uh, this will be like waiting list. Okay. Now, there is a reason why we are taking linked list. You know what? Linked list implements queue and you know that in queue elements will be stored in the form of first in first out order, right? So, just let me try to make this as a string. Okay. Now, my intention is in this array list, confirmed array list, I will be trying to keep the passengers who got already tickets got confirmed and in this linked list, I will be keeping the waiting list passengers. If anyone from this confirmed list cancels their ticket, then the first person in the waiting list, we need to assign him the confirmation ticket, right? So, okay. In order to make that happen, let me just try to take three methods. Public, void, book ticket. Okay. And here I am going to take a parameterizer method. Let me go like string passenger name and uh, one more method public void cancel ticket. This is for if anyone is actually canceling the ticket passenger name. Okay. And now one more method public void. Let me go like show status. I mean current status. Okay, fine. So now in this passenger method, I mean in this book ticket method, what first what I'll be doing, you know, I'm going to use if condition and now inside the if, let me just try to check my if my confirm list size is less than five, then only I need to assign the ticket. So yeah, there's a condition I have given and uh, let me just try to write confirm list dot add. I am adding the passenger name. Just 
let me try to keep it like this okay i'm adding the passenger just a small information here that is system.out.println ticket is allocated for plus passenger name okay so now the ticket is allocated for the passenger name what if what if the confirm list size is exceeding the 5 then we need to pass that passenger to the waiting list right so let me just try to use a small else if condition and here also obviously i need to check whether my waiting list size is less than 3 why because here i have taken that maximum waiting list size should be 3 right so if it is less than 3 then i'll be able to pass the passenger to this waiting list and just a small note here that is passenger name add it to the waiting list add it to the waiting list and you know what i want to mention that waiting list number also so i'll do one thing just let me try to write waiting list plus i'll be trying to get the size of my waiting list so that i'll be able to display actual number like waiting list one two three like that okay and uh, else if all the above cases are not valid if all the above cases are false then system.out.println just let me try to inform there are no okay i'll do one thing just let me try to write like this sorry passenger okay there are no tickets or waiting list slots available as simple as this so in this if condition here first we will be trying to add the passenger into the confirm list if the size is less than 5 if the size is greater than 5 we are adding that passenger to the waiting list and still if waiting list is also completely filled up then simply we are informing to the passenger like sorry there are no tickets available as simple as it is right okay now we will try to cancel okay we will try to cancel the logic right okay now here i am going to write if if the user is entering the passenger name we need to first check whether that username is available in the confirm list or not so in order to make that happen simply I'm going to write if confirm list dot remove passenger name. Okay, if that is happening, system dot out dot print link ticket is cancelled for plus passenger name. As simple as this. And if the ticket is cancelled for a particular passenger, the person who is present in that waiting list, we need to assign the ticket, right? So in order to make that happen, I am going to write a small if condition. That is, if, let me just try to write like this. And here, waitlist dot is empty. All right. And here I am going to make it as logical operator. I am using logical not. Now, basically what this is empty method will be doing, you know, is empty method is going to check whether are there any elements present in my waiting list or not. If there are any elements are there, if there are any elements are there then it is going to return false it is going to return false as the elements are there i am going to convert it into true right so now the condition is true now what i'll be doing let me just try to get the first element which is present in my waiting list first passenger let me just try to write waiting list dot poll string let me make this as confirm passenger now i need to add this passenger to the confirm list so confirm list dot add confirm passenger just like this so just a small information here ticket is confirmed to the or else ticket is confirmed to plus confirm passenger as simple as this else if 
let me just try to write waiting list dot remove passenger name and here system dot out dot println i am going to use passenger name plus is removed removed from the waiting list okay and if i am unable to find the passenger just let me try to go like System dot out dot println passenger is not found. I mean passenger name is not found. As simple as it is. So the first method book ticket books the ticket to the passenger, and in the second method, what I am trying to do, if a passenger is cancelling the ticket from the confirm list, we are removing that passenger from that confirm list and the next passenger who is present in that waiting list we are trying to assign the ticket as simple as this now here let us just try to write the logic for showing the status system dot out dot println just let me try to write like this current status okay current status sso confirmed list of passengers plus confirm list and I want to display the waiting list of passengers also let us just try to go like waiting list of passengers plus a waiting list okay so yeah let's try to execute our program let me try to write my main method and I am creating an object for my class A. Belongs to class A. Now here, AOBJ dot book ticket. I am going to write passenger 1. So I told you like we had created our max confirm seats as 5. So maximum we can confirm only 5 tickets, right? So I am going to pass five passengers here okay so passenger one two three four and five let's see what happens if we execute our program right click run as java application so ticket is allocated for passenger one two three four five everything is done i mean done now i'm going to book ticket for few more let me just try to go like passenger six seven and eight now let's see what happens right click run as java application see passenger 6 7 and 8 these guys are moved to waiting list like waiting list 1 2 and 3 why because we had covered we have taken maximum confirm seats to be 5 only once that limit is reached if anyone is trying to book the ticket those guys are moved to the waiting list and remember waiting list is also only 3 right okay now let's see what if okay first let us just try to check the status here obj dot status current status is okay so these are all our confirm list passenger one two three four five all these are confirmed and uh, six seven eight these guys are present currently in waiting list let us think that if passenger two is cancelling the ticket means his ticket is already confirmed if he is cancelling the ticket then the next waiting list that is passenger 6 who is present in the waiting list we are supposed to assign him the ticket okay let me just try to a o b j dot cancel ticket and i am trying to cancel the ticket for passenger 2 okay just let me try to remove this okay now let's see what happens right click run as java application okay so please check this ticket is cancelled for passenger 2 passenger 2 ticket is cancelled and ticket is confirmed for passenger 6 i hope you understand the point here what if we are trying to cancel the ticket for the person who is actually present in waiting list also let me just try to write passenger 8 okay now let's see what happens and here i just want to write this show status method one more time let me execute my program 
All right. Now, please observe here. If we check here, starting the confirmed list of passengers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, these passengers are in waiting list. If passenger 2 is cancelling the ticket and that ticket is allocated to passenger 6, right? So, right now, the confirmed list is passenger 1, 3, 4, 5 and 6. I hope you are observing the point here. And please check this passenger 8 is removed from the waiting list. Why? Because he is actually cancelling the ticket. So, currently, how many passengers, I mean, how many passengers are in the waiting list? There are only, I mean, there is only one passenger, that is passenger 7. I hope you understand this logic behind this. It's a simple logic, but it can be implemented using basic array lists and queues in Java. This isn't about just tickets. The same queue system is used in restaurant reservations, hospital appointments, support ticketing systems, job portals, you know, a lot of other applications are there. Java's list and collections make it super easy to simulate such workflow. If you found this interesting, imagine what more you can build with Java skills. You don't need to be an expert, guys. Just curious and consistent. In Naresh IT, we'll go beyond theory. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our Naresh IT channel for more such similar content.